What is up guys? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. We've got Luna out and about like usual for another one of our videos. Like we've said in the previous video guys, we hope you guys are having happy holidays. We wish everybody a Merry Christmas and we appreciate you all coming back for this week's video. And before we dive into this week's topic, as we always say, a thumbs up goes a long way towards helping us get noticed by the YouTube algorithm. So if you could go ahead and smash that button for us, that would be great. Hit that notification button so you are notified for all of our future videos that are coming out weekly. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you choose and never forget to visit terrierowner.com, which is the vlog site tied to this YouTube channel with all of this information in a written format to help you guys understand and care for this dog in the best fashion possible. Now guys, let's go ahead and dive into this week's video, which is all about Luna's coat of fur or hair, whatever you want to call it, her specific coat. We are talking about wired haired Jack Russell Terriers, which for a lot of you that are going through the adoption phase or just adopted, this may actually be some pretty important information because you may be looking for a Jack Russell with a coat that is more tailored towards your allergies or towards shedding. So we are going to cover specifically the wired haired Jack Russell so that you understand what you're getting into with this specific coat right here or this dog breed. Wired haired Jack Russell, full bred Jack Russell Terrier. So guys, just so you understand the difference too, there is a few different coats that you will come across if you're looking to adopt a Jack Russell. You have what you're looking at here, which is the wired haired. You have smooth coat, broken coat or rough coat. And then like I said, you have the wired. So three different coats, so to speak. And like I said, Luna is what you'd consider the wired haired. A lot of the times the smooth coat can feel a little bit similar to the wired haired, but smooth coat is typically a longer coat of hair. It doesn't make the dog look necessarily as skinny or as bony as Luna. She looks a lot smaller than some other Jack Russells because her coat of hair really contours and follows her body line. A smooth coat could still be a longer coat of hair, but it's smooth. She is very uh, pin needle like the hairs are very small, the sharp little hairs that fall out of her. And that is the best way I can explain it. So like when she sheds, for instance, it's these tiny it's almost like, you know, pin needles falling off of a, a tree. They're very small hairs. She does still shed a lot, and that is something to keep in mind. Wire hair Jack Russells, a lot of people think short hair, not gonna shed a lot. She sheds a ton. This specific coat sheds a ton. You are not going to escape shedding. With this coat of a Jack Russell, she is dropping hair year long. Um, it's everywhere and it's actually probably one of the more annoying coats that you can get out of those three options between the broken and the smooth and the wired because they're just they're harder to see and they're still everywhere so you're still vacuuming it up non-stop it's definitely something to prepare for in advance and to make sure you have a good vacuum cleaner for which I'll touch on more here in just a moment so for anybody who is worried about allergies when it comes to a wired hair Jack Russell it should be noted that they are not hypoallergenic so if you are allergic to dogs or animals in general, this coat is going to spark allergies. Uh, I am actually allergic to dogs myself, so I experience, you know, the sneezing, you know, my face will welt up a little bit, my eyes will water, I get used to it after a few days. I went through the same thing with Luna. But if you have chronic allergies or they're worse than mine for dogs, this dog will spark allergies. They will shed around the house and they will cause you to experience the allergies. So if you haven't adopted yet and you were thinking that you were going to escape some kind of allergies are less shedding because of this coat or how smooth and clean it looks. It's not true. Allergies will occur and the shedding will still happen. Same thing can be said if you were looking to adopt because of the shedding. I really want to emphasize on that big time because you wouldn't think that this, you know, 15 pound body smooth coat looks really clean. Looks like a very well kept dog, but it's as I sit here and pet her and make this video, there's literally hair piling up in my lap just from petting her. And that is with, you know, regular care, good hygiene. It, it's just a shedding type dog. So you need to be aware of that. If you were trying to get a dog that, you know, sheds very little, this is not the dog. If you've already adopted it, that is what I want to cover next is a few tips and tricks that you can use on this specific coat, the wire hair coat that will help you deal or mitigate some of those shedding and allergy issues a little bit better. So let's go ahead and start talking about that next. First thing I can tell you about this dog that will help you immensely, and we do have other videos on this channel discussing it, is the baths should be less frequent than you think because the coat is so short. 
for a dog with this short coat and this little body, a bath every four to six weeks is enough. Any more than that is too much and you're gonna irritate the skin, which is going to cause more shedding. So unless they go get dirty in the backyard or do something that requires an immediate bath, stick to less frequent baths. You know, four to five baths a year, that's it. If you overdo it, their skin can get irritated super easily and you're actually going to aggravate the problem more. The next thing that you can do guys that can really help is, you know, when they go outside and they're doing their thing outside, whether they're going potty or they're playing, you need to brush them as frequently as you can. Every time you brush this dog, whether it's once a week, once every half hour, you're going to get a good amount of hair that comes off of them. The more you brush them, the more you get some of that undercoat and some of that debris out of their fur, which is going to keep the coat healthier and allow the shedding to decrease to some extent. It's not going to eliminate it, it's just going to decrease it, so that is also important. Frequent brushing with a good brush. I would not recommend using something like those Ferminators. Those can irritate the skin as well on a dog with you know, this short of hair. Those really get down deep and get down to the skin level. So that probably is not the best idea with a dog like this. I would just stick to like one of those good Kong brushes that are rubber and really kind of dig in softly and don't irritate the skin as much but make sure you're keeping up with the brushing. And then next guys is simple, but it's often overlooked, but make sure this dog has a good diet. Um, diet is very important for a dog's coat and their fur. So keeping a healthy diet, keeping them you know, engaged with exercise and healthy in general is going to help with shedding. You know, They're gonna shed off a lot of that fur during exercise. It's just going to help them remain healthier overall. When the dog's healthy, the coat's healthy. So those are huge tips to help you reduce some of the shedding. Hopefully if you have allergies, it helps reduce some of the allergies as well. But overall, the wired hair Jack Russell, you're going to get all of the shedding you would expect with a dog with tons of hair, and you're going to get the allergies, but you're still gonna get an awesome dog. So it's not really a deterrent, it's just more of an FYI. If you're getting ready to adopt, or if you did just adopt, sorry to break the news to you. Next thing I would recommend, guys, is you have to invest in a good vacuum. Um, unless you want to do it with a broom and a dustpan all the time. I personally vacuum the room that they're in the most probably two times a day. I can fill up a Dyson's canister, you know, every two days, and it's a relatively big canister. Um, they shed a lot, and I do have Graham's hair too, the yellow lab, so that is compounding on top of her hair. But... Invest in a good vacuum, keep it around the house, otherwise you're going to have hair everywhere. Especially with a dog that's doing zoomies, running all over the house at all times. I mean, it's just, it's a hair producing dog, I hate to break it to you. It's a beautiful coat though, I mean, look at her. She looks good. But, you need to have the tools ready that are going to help you go through owning this dog. Make it that much easier, so to speak. Last thing I want to point out about this coat, guys, that is important and it's for this dog's safety is a wired haired Jack Russell or even a smooth coat, when they have this short of a coat of hair and it's a dog that loves being outside and, you know, loves burning off energy and exercise, the last really important thing to understand about this coat is that they do get cold quickly. So she doesn't handle cold weather very well, she shivers. Um, so you don't want to leave them out too long. They don't have as much protection as you would think for a dog to stay warm and they also can get sunburnt relatively easy. So if they're outside all the time, you want to make sure that there's a spot that they can retreat to to get some shade or to make sure they're not actually getting sunburnt. You have something to say about that? Okay. This is also one of those topics, guys, that we would love to hear your feedback on if you have a wired haired Jack Russell. You know, what did you do to mitigate some of the shedding or some of the allergies if you are someone who had allergies when you adopted the dog? Be sure to drop those comments down below for us so we can all interact and learn about this dog even more, guys. We always appreciate that. Again, if you haven't done the thumbs up yet on the video, it goes so far in helping us get seen by other individuals who own this dog that need the help understanding it that much better. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that and hit that notification bell so you're notified for all of our future videos. Again, guys, we wish you a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, even though we should see you again for the next video beforehand, but we like to say it in advance anyways. Don't forget to check out terrierowner.com. It's a great website with tons of helpful blogs on this dog. Outside of that, guys, we appreciate you and we will see you in the next video. Take care.